Good morning. It's day three of the Suffolk Coastal Path. Well, last night, did I sleep well? Nine till six, I think I got. Bloody lovely. So I've just left uh, that wooded area behind me. That's where I wild camped. Now off to Walberswick and Southwold. Probably about an hour 20 away. Got a baguette for breakfast. And the sun's out. Happy days. That's been nice so far, just coming through this marshland sort of area, following this little river. I've got a uh, windmill ruins, I'm guessing. So this is Walberswick. Well, this is a tease. There is a ferry which goes across here, look. I'm a bit too early, so I've got to walk half a mile up that way, cross the bridge, half a mile back to get over there. Over the bridge we go. So this bridge goes over the River Blythe. Let's see what sort of views we get. I'll get to the middle and then I'll pan left and right. The big reveal. There we go, so if I look left, inland. That's what greets you. And if I turn back and look down the river, Have it. And I'm off over there, Southwold. Now coming into Southwold. The fair is in town. There, yeah, got the waltzers, look over there. Prize every time. For a small green, they've really packed it on. Really efficient. Oh yes, and of course, the bumper cars. Absolute classic. You know when you've made it working for a fun fair, when you get to get a job in there, hanging off the back of them cars. King of the fair. to leave Southwold in a moment I've got about seven miles inland diversion so not looking forward to that I think it's just bloody roads and boring paths look people are already swimming look making the most of the bank holiday a lot more cloud about today so 
which I don't mind because yesterday was scorching so that'd be nice there's one thing I want to show you down here but because it's so early I don't think it's gonna be open but I'll have a quick look so my favorite amusements just over here and it's not the one you're probably thinking of the main one on the pier it's one which is situated halfway down and they're all uh, sort of unique games you can play I think the bloody gate shut so I probably can't get up there but yeah if you come to Southwold check out that little amusements over there fantastic Southwold putting green so it's all closed but the toilets are open so I'm getting in there And so that was Southwold. I love it there. Beautiful place, beautiful place. And they've recently done up the toilets as well, because I swear the last time I went there, they were very old school. So that was a nice little surprise for me. So as I said before, I've now got, I've turned inland at some point to stop this track. And I've got about an eight mile inland diversion ahead of me. So I'm going to take a couple of painkillers, because I've got a couple of aches and that bloody blister. Get the radio on and get cruising. Well, this sucks. Quite a busy road, this. So I've just come off that busy road following the signs for the path, but diversion, boardwalk unsafe. So I guess I'm back on the road. It's been a bloody nightmare because it's a bit windy. I'm having to leap up onto the banks. Oh, come on, let's get this bit done. So I've got my eye on a little place up here to have a little rest. It's just outside the village of uh, Ben Acre. I don't think you can see through there, but that's the wind turbine, which is outside of um, Africa Alive. But there's a load of police cars up here and police vans. So I don't know if there's been an accident or something, but I'll soon find out. Don't know what that was about, but there's a dog unit there. Bit of gossip going on with the locals. I just kept my head down and uh, snuck past. This is my view. This path will take me right down to the coast where I'll finally pick up the sea again. So about three hours left, I think. So I'll find a bench, that's what I need. Oop. Ben Acre, nature reserve. I've just come down that track there, heading up there now, on the coast, beautiful. A couple of minutes and I should be there. Little farm, look, there's some donkeys. So this must be uh, Kessingland, South Beach. The right fresh breeze hitting me. I know that much. I need a bloody rest. I'm hoping once I get up around here somewhere, there might be a little bench just outside of the wind. Final six miles to go into the finishing point at Lowestoft Pier. Just gone past the uh, Kessingland Holiday Village. Uh, 
blister really, really bloody hurting now, so I'll be limping the last six miles. Just cutting through some fields as I leave Kessingland and then in a moment I shall pick up the A12 shortly which will then take me into Pakefield on the cliffs and then I shall drop down gradually into Lower Stop Seafront. Here we are then, Peakfield. Jolly sailors. Let's just look back where we've come from today. We'll take the steps down for the final mile. Come on. Here we are then, the finish point of the Suffolk Coastal Path. I've made it, had a great time. So I've got to get cracking, got a train to catch. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.